Hey guys, how's it going? This is Izinobri, and uh, uh, it's been a while since the last time I did uh, an iPhone app review, and uh, there's one app that I've been using a lot the last couple of days, and uh, that is Team Viewer. Uh, as always, my camera doesn't doesn't seem to cooperate, but it's that icon right there. See there? Team Viewer. Uh, that app has two versions uh, in the App Store. There is a uh, the free version. I'm not sure if you can if you can read it there on the screen. Uh, it's a free version, and then there's a paid version. It's called Team Viewer Pro. It costs ninety nine ninety nine. Now, don't freak out because the free version has all the same functionalities of the pro version. It's just that the pro version is a commercial license, so you can use it for work and stuff like that. Uh, but you can just install the free version and use all the functionality of this app. So let's boot it up here. Let me just hide it because I'm not sure if it's going to show any sort of uh, uh, ID or anything like that. Uh, okay, it's loaded. Okay, so it's okay. Now, uh, Team Viewer is a lot easier than the other uh, applications that I've used for remote control on my computer before. So uh, I'm just going to make sure that this is hidden. Uh, so you install, like was as it is the case with these uh, these uh, apps, you install a server on uh, on your computer, and uh, and then all you have to do is punch in the information on the app, and it's very simple. To, it's, it's definitely a lot more simple. Then uh, Mocha VNC. I did a review of Mocha VNC before, as you guys probably remember, and uh, that required a lot more tinkering around with the the router settings and uh, with IP configuration. So that wasn't really for the the you know the 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 casual user, so to speak. That that required a little more knowledge uh, beforehand to get it all uh, set up and working. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, but TeamViewer is a lot more easy. It's it's really hassle free. Install the the server on your computer that you want to control. Install the app on your iPhone, and then there's some really really quick configuration. There's a, you have an ID, uh, and then you punch that ID in, you put in your password, and that's it. Uh, another uh, advantage of the system is that uh, Mocha VNC, because it required some some tinkering to make it work with 3G. Every time your router was reset, uh, you needed or the computer shut down, you needed to go into that. And, and fix the configuration again so you could you know so it could work so you could control your computer so uh, team viewer scratch you know it it, uh, <clears throat> it pushes all that away and uh, it makes it very simple for the for the the common user so uh, I have my groups here I'm not sure if you can read it my computers so I have my bedroom PC and my living room PC so let's go into bedroom PC so let's connect to partner let's connect in there and try to keep this within the frame so here we go I am now controlling the computer uh, on the iPhone, so I can zoom in. I mean, sorry, zoom out like this, and move the cursor around. Now, one thing that is also cool in Team Viewer that took me a little while to get used to, but once I did, I I agree that it was a, a much much more easy way to control your computer. On Mocha VNC, wherever you tapped, that's exactly where you were clicking. You didn't move the mouse; you just clicked exactly where you're going. So. The problem with that is that if you're if you're seeing it like an overview of the screen like this, where you see that the icons are really small, it's really hard to get exactly where you want to go. TeamViewer, on the other hand, oh, and also uh, functions that require mouse hover wouldn't work, right? Of course, because you're not hovering, you're you're tapping someplace, and the mouse goes straight there and does a click. So with this, as you can see, I'm actually moving the cursor around, and then once I have it, it once I have it on the spot that I want, I tap anywhere on the screen, and that's a click. So there you go. I'm going to leave it like this so you can see the effects of that on my computer. I'm just close this. And now this is, it's good that this happened because this is a, 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 a very, uh, it, it sucks. It's a, it's a, fuck, how do I explain this? If you get a push notification during a session, you get logged out. Now this is downright unforgivable. I don't understand why this works like that. I'm not sure if this is a limitation of the free version because the description on the on iTunes says that it has no limitations other than the fact that you can't use it for commercial uh, purposes. But uh, yeah, if you're using, if you're controlling your, your computer and then you get a push notification, all of a sudden you're going to get booted off. So that sucks. But on the other hand, this is a free program. Mocha VNC at the time was $5. So, you know, something's got to give, right? <clears throat> but as you can see, uh, it's a lot faster. I like how uh, when you zoom out or in, it's not jerky like Mocha VNC was. And uh, I like that you first you point the mouse with, uh, you know, with moving it around the screen, and then you click by tapping. I like that a lot. It's a, it's a lot easier. Uh, you get a lot uh, fewer uh, wrong clicks that way. So let me bring up iTunes there. So there you go. Uh, I'm sorry about the lighting. I know it's it's not uh, uh, the best for for this type of video, but I just wanted to show you. Uh, let's go into the library there. So there you go. I just wanted to show you 
uh, this great little app, Team Viewer, free in the App Store. If you need to control your computer, and I'm going to go into the. Uh, oh crap! I shouldn't have exited. Okay, let's just go jump back in. I'm going to log into my living room uh, computer. There we go, <coughs> living room PC. Now the cool thing about this, you can create a free account uh, to to manage your your different computers, right? And then e, uh, this is also accessible via web. If you go on TeamViewer.com and log in, you can control your computers. Uh, from any uh, internet enabled computer just right in the uh, I'm browsing the sorry again let me just uh, this is the computer in the living room and I'm just you know going you know messing around and uh, I'm actually going to stop a certain uh, transfer here on there you go I'm just gonna pause it here there you go uh, I just interrupted a torrent download actually an upload uh, from my bedroom without having to go to the living room. Now, this is just one of the uses for this app. As you can see, it's it's pretty it's pretty useful to be able to control your computers from anywhere. Uh, so once again, Team Viewer free in the App Store. Uh, very worth. I mean, it's zero dollars. So I guess saying it's worth it is kind of an understatement. But uh, yeah, go download it. It's cool.